it's Lucy and Jeff going for walks and talks, talk about banksters and Bitcoin and the apocalypse and stuff. It's Lucy and Jeff and tacos and kisses. How you doing today, Lucy? Well, pretty good. I guess we're not going for a walk today. That, that's the only part I don't really like, but we're up here with Wacom's and we got some tacos cooking down, down in the kitchen. So I don't mind too much. I always make the best of whatever happens. Yeah, that's the best way to be, Lucy. So yeah, just uh, recording this on Saturday. This will probably come out on Sunday. Just a little bit of a primer for the week ahead at Anarcapoco. As you can see, the weather is uh, pretty darn good, as it usually is this time of year. And as you can see too, like it's crazy with boats and parties in Acapulco this time of year. This is actually the best time of year to be in Acapulco. Uh, the weather is the best, like right now, it's totally comfortable, not sweating whatsoever uh, at this time of the day. And if it's earlier in the day, if you're in the shade, it's generally pretty good. The humidity is not too bad. So I'm doing this video just to let people know because I probably, I might do a video this week. Anything is possible, but uh, I probably won't because I'm super busy. Like on Monday, well, sun, it starts Sunday with the Apocalypso party. And uh, it's gonna be like a circus event and everything there. Uh, then on Monday, I speak twice. I'm also doing a book signing with Charlie Robinson. And then that night, a dinner on the beach with Ron Paul. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, I actually don't speak, but I'm going to uh, something called the Meeting of the Minds, which is a big event with a lot of uh, attendees. Wednesday, I'm not sure. I think Thursday, I'm speaking at CryptoPoco, uh, which is an entire day on cryptocurrency. And then Friday, I close the show. And uh, what else is going on? Something else is going on, on Friday, too. Well, there's a closing party. So, yeah, I'm going to be pretty busy all week. And I just got back from a pretty busy couple days in Mexico City with all the Liberland people. Uh, so, I, But I just wanted to send out this short video today. Uh, nothing too long. And just let you know some of the things going on. And uh, s lots of interesting stuff, actually. And like I was saying before, people like Max Egan and probably a lot of the people whose videos you watch, Dan Dix... Uh, Del Victory, so many, will probably not be doing a lot this week, uh, including myself. So you're probably not going to have much to watch this week if you want to watch those sort of people. Uh, Larkin Rose, all kinds of people. So uh, you might want to get onto the live stream. I'll put the link down below and you can get 10% off with the uh, code VIGILANTE all, in all capitals. And I, I want to just run through some of the things going on uh, because... Uh, a lot of people probably aren't even aware of it. Uh, for example, just one thing is Mark Passio can't make it uh, because he doesn't like to fly for whatever reason. I, I've actually never heard the explanation, but he doesn't. Uh, and uh, he actually drove here once from Philadelphia, which is about three days straight of driving. So he didn't come this year, but he, what he did do is one of his major presentations. I, I don't know exactly how long it is. It looks like it's two hours or so. Uh, you might know that he's done like major presentations before and he'll usually like it'll be like a live thing at like one of his events they used to have in Philadelphia and uh, they're they're absolutely incredible and he's doing a special one just for Narcopoco. We're gonna be playing at the event and people will be sitting in the pool and stuff and watching it uh, but you can get that on the live stream as well so even just that alone, it's almost worth the price. If you if you know who Mark Passio is and if you're into his stuff, because he always does incredible stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, I'll be leading off the event. We'll have uh, Chris Horlacher talking about how he's fighting the Canadian government who tried to kill him uh, for trying to basically put the entire stock market on the blockchain. Then after that's Charlie Robinson, who I have to say... Uh, when I first asked him to write the book with me, uh, Controlled Demolition of the American Empire, because he's so good at writing books. Uh, if you're looking for another good book uh, to uh, get, his book, uh, The Oct Octopus of Total Control, or something like that, I'll put it on screen, is uh, a great book. And that's why I asked him to write it with me, because he's so good at all the details and footnotes and getting all the information necessary. So he'll be speaking. And uh, he'll be talking about the Controlled Demolition of the American Empire, which is ongoing. Uh, well, actually, just so you know, him and I will be doing a book signing at the event at noon on uh, Monday. 
If you have the book, uh, just bring it and we'll sign it uh, for free. And if you don't have the book, we'll charge a little bit uh, just for the book and for the signing. And uh, we'll have a, a bunch of books on hand. So he'll be speaking there and he's a great speaker. If you haven't checked him out on Vigilante.tv, he's awesome. Uh, then we have Patrick Smith, who actually hosts Anarchast, and he does uh, great presentations as well. And uh, he'll be talking about what are rights and who gets them. Uh, so uh, he's a very sort of focused on philosophy sort of a guy and on, uh, you know, sort of real world sort of things. Uh, Dan Dix will also be speaking on Monday. This is all on Monday, by the way. So if you're watching this on Sunday, or even if you're watching on Monday, just so you know, you can sign up and get recordings of all the videos for... Uh, life for your lifetime basically or you know if you only live a week I don't know like maybe you don't get your money's worth or whatever but <laughs> otherwise you do uh, so even if you're seeing this on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday uh, you can still sign up and get all of them so and you know it's gonna be so much to watch unless you are got absolutely nothing to do most people won't be able to watch it all at once anyway uh, so you can get all this and uh, on Monday also speaking is Dan Dix uh, who went to the, the Canadian trucker uh, uh, protests uh, so that'll be very interesting. This is the first time he's been out of Canada because he refused to get a, uh, a, a lethal injection certificate. Um, and he even refused to make up a fake one. He just decided that was his line in the sand. And that's fine if that's, you know, everyone's got their own line. And his was, he's not even going to get a fake one. Uh, if they're not going to let him travel because he doesn't get it, then he just won't travel and he'll keep fighting the system. But Canada removed the restrictions. Uh, the U.S. hasn't, just so you know. Uh, the U.S. is one of the only countries on Earth where you can, where you still basically uh, need to prove you've been lethally injected to go there. Uh, so Dan will be flying direct from Vancouver to Mexico City, and he'll be speaking. And then after that's Max Egan, who's, uh, from what, what I hear, having a great time at his Crow House bar here. And uh, he'll be speaking. Uh, his uh, talk is called The Stark Reality of the World Today. Then after that is Larkin Rose. This is all on Monday, by the way. <laughs> So, like, basically, probably the most epic day ever. I'm not even done telling you about it. So Larkin Rose will be doing a talk. And if you know Larkin Rose, you know he plans his talks out well in advance. And they're, they're super amazing always. And his is going to be called Specific, Personal, and Literal Truth. And then after that, Ron Paul is speaking live from the event. Uh, so that is all on Monday. <laughs> so... Uh, there's five days of this, by the way. I'll, I'll go through some of the other days fairly quickly, but uh, it's, you're, you're definitely getting your money's worth uh, getting all this stuff. And then we have a lot of sort of uh, spiritual slash... I actually don't even know what you would call this day. I think they, they call it a narc awakening. Oh, it starts with Shinyamurti. So he's doing another, he did a special speech just for Anarchapoco last year, and it was the best speech at Anarchapoco. So he's on Tuesday, and his is called A Manifesto of Unified Spiritual Anarchy. Sounds like a pretty good title, and he's an incredible speaker. Then Piazza Nico Sif, she does all kinds of uh, incredible stuff. She actually moved here uh, to Mexico a couple years ago. Uh, then we have Amy Elise, Iridology, Truth Revealed, What Your Eyes Say. I know a little bit about iridology, and you can actually tell almost everything about your health by looking at your eyes. And so she'll be talking about that. This is actually incredible information, by the way, if you don't know a lot of that stuff. Uh, Sam Pilbeam, Pilbeam and Greg Gar Garrett, The Importance of Silence. So it's sort of like a spiritual meditation, health sort of a day. Uh, then I, I mentioned, I don't know who Chris Shanti Vistar is. Uh, I, I'm told, by the way, because my people got a lot of these speakers, and they tell me, you don't know who they are, but they, like, they're amazing. Like, they're gonna, everyone's going to blow everyone away. Then there's a guy named Bearheart, Embody the Medicine. Uh, Silver and Living with Chad. Chad's the guy who does Earthships with the, uh, with the orphans here. Then Becca Tizgani, who's a good friend of mine, uh, who lives in Ecuador. Uh, she does like Tantra sort of stuff, but I consider her one of the best female speakers in sort of this realm of things. She's an incredible speaker. I first saw her at Anarca Portugal in Portugal uh, a few years ago, and I was blown away. I was like, who is this? We need this person to speak at our event. Or actually, I think I already knew who she was, but I, like, I, I, I was just so blown away. She's like, one of the, I think the best female speaker I've ever seen in my life. So there you go. So she's all speaking. This is all on Tuesday, by the way. 
Then we got Brendan Murphy. Then on Wednesday, let me, where am I? I'm on the Whova app, by the way, which is actually where all this stuff is for an archipelago. It was just, it just paused me to ask me if I like the app. It's like, can you just hang on? I'm just doing a video here. But, uh, so on Wednesday, it's more of a, like a sovereign living day. I don't know exactly what they call it. Let me see if they have a title for these days. <laughs> I should actually like look this up. Who's on that day? Oh, it's crypto day. Looks like. Yeah, it is. So it starts off with Michael Fitzgerald. He'll be talking about the Monero standard. Super important uh, Monero stuff. Matt Welsh will be talking about Thrive with crypto in the uh, Aquarian age. Kalina Lux will be talking about heaven on earth, autocracy and Dero. She's actually a huge Dero and NFT, NFT type person. Also quite an attractive looking uh, woman for anyone who just uh, likes that part of stuff. Uh, then, Dr. Sarah Grace Mansky, what is the spatial web? Like there's some pretty deep stuff in here. Oh, then we have Juan Castro Soto. Uh, he actually created a currency called the Tumen in Mexico. And it's actually caught on. It's it, like people are using it in many parts of Mexico, but he never actually knew how to make a cryptocurrency. So we're actually helping him do that. And we'll be doing that at Anarchapoco. But he's sort of like a, a leader here in Mexico of getting people to stop using the government money. And then Danny Sesson will be talking about real world applications for smart chains. So this is like a serious crypto conference uh, with like deep and, and like, like very important topics. Uh, Rosello Lopez connecting blockchain with bank chain. Uh, I believe he's from Brazil and he sued the Brazilian government and won or something. So a lot of cool people. Colin Cottrell of Nexus is going to be there connecting a decentralized world. Uh, Vich Adlika, the president of Leverland will be speaking on that. You can see this is crazy, right? Like the, so many amazing people. Paul Pui, oh cool. Paul Pui is going to be there. I didn't even know that. Uh, crypto's path to privacy, why privacy coins are important basically. He does, I believe it's called the Edge Wallet and it's an incredible wallet. So that's all on when, oh, where's mine? I'm supposed to be speaking. Oh, there I am. I'm the last speaker. Okay. And my speech title is uh, 14 years later, the crypto revolution has just begun. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of stuff. Lots of important information I'll be giving about crypto in that talk. That's on Wednesday. This keeps going. <laughs> you can see this is like a major, massive uh, sort of a thing to put this all together. Then on Thursday, I think it's more of like a sober and living sort of a day. There we go. So we have Chad Schwartz with the Earthship stuff again. Uh, Brent Kaufman talking about the March, Marsh Children's Home and food independence. He'll be talking about how they're going to be doing like aquaponics and stuff here at uh, Anarchapoco. So this is about how to like survive, how to like, uh, you know, live off the land. Uh, Carlos Gomez will be talking about harvesting the sun. Uh, Michael Cobb of ECI Developments will be talking about uh, expatriation. A lot of people are super interested in that. He's always does a great talk. Eleanor Belegi will be talking about sovereignty outside the governmental system. So very deep stuff about silver and living, all that kind of stuff. James Fry, the homegrown food revolution. He's a real leader in sort of uh, growing your own food type stuff. Uh, really smart guy. He spoke a couple years ago and uh, I thought he was just incredible. Then there's Marjorie Wildcraft, who I hear is a massive deal. I actually don't know a ton about her, but everyone's like, I can't believe you got her to speak at your event. Uh, she talks about all that kind of stuff, growing your own food and all that kind of thing. So that's Thursday. And then Friday, the final day, is about health and stuff like that. Kind of important today. We actually have James Patrick starting that one off, talking about the Dutch farmers' expro expropriation by the state. So we're going to be talking about the Dutch farmers. Todd Cave will, will be talking about the return of the Son of Man. Okay, kind of deep stuff. Then Yolanda Norris Clark will be talking about the birth industrial complex. And she has a word for it, but it's basically like having your kids outside of the, the hospitals, outside of governmental systems. So all kinds of important stuff that people need to know. And she's actually great. I've actually been following her for a while. Uh, I don't know where she's from, but she moved to Costa Rica. She'll be, she'll be here in person. Uh, Dr. Carrie Madej, uh, who her plane crashed after she started speaking out about uh, the COVIDs. Uh, Andrew Coffin will be speaking that day. And Dell Bigtree, the tyranny of health mandates, will be finishing it off. So, as you can see, absolutely massive, massive week. And 
If you use our affiliate code for $135, you can watch it all on your own time. And as I mentioned before, really support what we're doing because People like Davos and all those guys, they've got trillions of dollars. People like the anarchist movement, so to speak, or the freedom or truth movement, have basically nothing. And I should explain, like, this conference is unlike most conferences because most of our speakers are banned everywhere. A lot of them, they, they try to kill them, like Kerry Maday and so many others. Uh, they have killed numerous others. They put numerous others in jail. Every year, uh, there's some speakers who end up in jail. Uh, most of them don't have much money because they're cut off from most things. They also don't, uh, in general, like Max Egan, he just in general is doing it because he wants the truth to get out and he doesn't even care about money. He'll live, you know, in like a crappy little couch somewhere uh, for all he cares and he'll just keep putting out this information. So one of the big things about it is all, a lot of conferences, for example, like investment conferences, people usually pay to speak at them. And it's because they want to get, you know, their, their brand out there and stuff like that. But our event, we have to pay almost everybody, all their airfare, their travel, their hotels, because hardly anyone has any money. And then on top of that, we don't have a ton of sponsors because there isn't a lot of sponsors out there that really want to target the anarchist community. So we could really use your support signing up for this stuff. And then as we, if we can get more and more people watching it and stuff like that, we can improve and bring in better speakers and just grow this movement. And just so you know too, all the speakers, they usually have a promo code and if they give it to you, they get 10% of whatever you get. So they'll get 10% of all these uh, virtual sales or even tickets for the event. So that's another way we're trying to help out all these people who in general are just constantly under attack and who generally don't have much money and you support them by supporting this event. And uh, well, I'll, I'll see if I can put up a, a couple of images of the stage. They're just building it right now. Just so you know, that's it right down there past those big hotels. That's the Fairmont Princess. Uh, and right past there is the Secret Garden. And they're putting up the stage right now and it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, I'll see if I can put them up as I'm talking here. And so, and we've got like the best lighting this year, hopefully the best sound, hopefully the best video. It's gonna look like TED Talks in a, in a secret garden, in a botanical garden with all these trees all around. And by the way, the, a lot of the audience will be in cenotes and pools. <laughs> so it's going to be one of the most sort of enjoyable things to watch. And, and even the audience interaction will just be great. You'll see people clapping from the pools, drinking beer, smoking weed, whatever they wanna do, doing, DMT, probably not right at the uh, wall that they're watching someone, but that will be going on. So I have the link down below. If you want to support it, we uh, really can use your support. Uh, there's, like I said, you can't, <laughs> this is a very difficult industry to, to do uh, and to do an event like this. Uh, pr pretty much the whole world's basically against us. And so uh, you can support us and also get all this incredible information like, this is like dozens and dozens and dozens of the best talks you'll ever see. And it'll inspire you, it'll give you new information, it'll educate you, it'll excite you, it'll make you laugh, some will make you cry, uh, and, uh, and you can be a part of it. So the link's down below, use the code VIGILANTE to get 10% off. And uh, looks like Lucy and Lucky wanna go. Yeah, well, we're not really walking around, are we? we you know, this, this isn't really our deal, you know? You know, I signed up for the walk and talks. This is stand around and talk. But anyway, the other dogs want in. Yeah, there's Polo and there's Lady, she's pregnant. We're gonna have five more chihuahuas. That's what we need is five more chihuahuas around here. And uh, yeah, why don't we get some tacos? I, I, I already told you I'm not too pleased with this video, but you know, I hope everyone else enjoyed it. And I hope you sign up. I'll be actually on stage four times this week. You can watch me, I'll be talking about tacos. And uh, you know, go for your walks smelling the flowers, meditating, and probably the most important thing is giving lots of cashers.
we will be free. Talking about free.